Oh, hello everyone. I hate 0386SX, and if you read the article that I have up, you probably can guess where this is going. But I have a little story on this. Uh, I run a side business building some batteries, and uh, up until last year, I was using a laser jet, a color laser jet M277 to do my shipping labels. But that really ate up the black toner. And the black toners aren't the, exactly the cheapest for this thing. So, with some Christmas money, I purchased myself. Well, why not? You can see some of the mess. That guy right there. $100 Amazon special. Problem is, it's not airframe compatible. I think the version that had that, mm, three times the price. I can't justify that. Until now, I have just went to the computer and printed the labels. No problem. But I had to think. There's got to be a way to do this. they got to make it air print capable. So I researched. There's a couple CD paid solutions out there. It ain't going to happen. But uh, even I brought this up, this tweaks.com article, and uh, there's a service out there that appear, appears to be free anyway. I'm going to install an air print service. And blah, blah, with the reply button, you'll find a print option. And this probably will work for most of you. But there is one glaring problem that I have with it, is that you have to have iTunes installed. Not happening on my main machine. So that led me to another solution. Can we do this on a Mac? I don't have a modern enough Mac, so that one's out. But we have a third option. We have the ability to do this on Linux. And plus, you know, the whole, uh, you should really be open to other operating systems, especially if there's a tool that can do it better. And with the Linux solution, this article allows you to run it even on the server with no uh, uh, no GUI or anything like that. It's all command line stuff. And you don't have any crappy Windows software to deal with. You don't have expensive Mac stuff to deal with. There may be a free solution for Apple. I don't know. So if, if there is and you want to use that, uh, that's uh, entirely up to you. But this is the article we're going to largely follow. And... I'm not actually going to put the label printer on this. No, no. We're going to make this much more interesting. See, I'm a retro channel, so we have to use retro things. So we're going to go over the air print. And I have some full disclosures that I have to give out. Number one, we're going to be roughing it. So that's why we're recording from a screen like this. Because I have to show certain things that I can't just simply show on a screen easily. So we're roughing it today. Number two, the printer I'm using, I'm not entirely sure if the color is good or if the black cartridge I have in it is just overpowering things. I, I'm not entirely sure. That also leads me to a third problem. The print driver, oh, hold on here, I gotta log back in. The print driver that I am using or that Ubuntu decided to use it gives me the option to do color, but it keeps switching back to monochrome. So I don't know what that's about. But just to show you how easy this is to do on literally almost any printer in existence. Here we go. No, and it's not going to be the bottom one. The bottom one was automatically detected when I installed the button. It's that guy right there that dust jet 612 and just to show that I am absolutely not fooling you we are legitimately going to make this dust jet 612 C show up through air print see I told you this was going to get uh, interesting or at least to have an interesting twist so okay we are back so you know it's up to you if you want to do the desktop or the server. I did the desktop because I was under the understanding that I had to do that, but we are going to use PuTTY to install most of the stuff. So, uh, 
we need the IP address of this system to do that. And this is just a VM. I can probably figure that out pretty quick, but yeah, we need this IP address. And uh, I don't know that I have uh, the SSH enabled on this, but uh, if you don't, you should. Nope, we do not. So let's fix that problem. That's very easy to fix, but it has to be done here on this system. Or otherwise, you're going to have a bad time. You could open up Firefox and load this article and do the stuff as well, but uh, I prefer to uh, make this as easy as possible since I do have two displays. And usually, if you uh, run this off of a server, SSH is already installed, so you don't have to do the step. But in case you do, here you go. So we're also going to go back to our putty window and we'll wait for this to get done. We can see a process window working below 65%. And we'll wait till it completes. And I'm actually a little surprised it's taking as long as it is, but well, what are you going to do? All right, so let's restart our session. And it's going to bring this up because I've done this before with the same IP address. So it technically is a different system and uh, all right so we are going to do that all right so here we go so we got we are now in through means of ssh and i want to show you that there's no tricks at least uh while my video editing is so terrible you probably figured out that there aren't any tricks but uh uh, we're going to go print. Uh, this is the part where we're roughing it. We go down to print. It should show one printer, and that's going to show this color laser jet, and only the color laser jet. So, and it's literally just a picture of the desk jet in question. Okay, so we got that. Okay, let's close all that good stuff out. And we're going to go, most of this is going to be a copy-paste operation from the article. But, uh, we're going to start get this get this show on the road and most of these components will be installed if they are that is fine yeah so cups is already installed so now we have to enable start cups and enable cups did i uh, hold on a minute did i screw that up i did screw that up There you go. So it is started. Now we get to enable it, which will uh, start the service on every restart. Now, if you install it on the desktop, you can, can ask, you will get an error if you check the status. That is okay. Oh, we're not getting the error this time. Okay. All right, that, um, I'm okay with being a liar here, but uh, if you do see an error, I uh, don't, panic just continue on but uh, next step is we're going to have to go into a config file of and we got a handful of changes to make the first one is we have to turn the browsing on so we have to show our show our printers on the network and then we go above it and we are actually going to change this list in localhost 631. And we're just going to call it port 631. Yeah. So that's in the article. So this is just dumb copy and paste stuff at this point. So now it gets a little bit more interesting. Because we have two more sections that I know of that we have to... Uh, edit. So here we're going to go put allow at local. 
and case is sensitive like it is in most Linux applications. Okay. And then we get to do the same right below the admin page. Now, if you want to have a little bit more sense of security and allow this part to only uh, be accessed by certain systems, you could put an IP address here as well. Uh, let's see, yep, so you could also allow a particular IP address, 192.168.0.1. We're not gonna go through that because that's uh, not necessary for our example. And it's just my home network, so good enough. So we are now going to save our work by going Control O, Enter, then Control X, which gets us back to our lovely putty window. And we're going to restart cups. And at this point, you will have to allow it in these uh, Ubuntu firewall. And hold on a minute here, make sure this, uh... yep. So I already did this, like I said. So some of this is gonna be here already. So you gotta, basically you have to change the network to match what you have. Okay, rules are updated, that's good and you will want to add your username to the list of folks that can get to the printer admin utility this in my case it's already there and if you need to install a driver mine's already there so then just to show you if you try to install it again it'll be basically like installing cops Yeah, it just says it's already there, so. There is an Epson. There's this one, this Guten print as well. Let's still, we'll go through it just because we're here. And not everybody here is going to have an HP printer, of course. Uh, some of you are still on Canon's. Woof. Sorry, I have a strong opinion of Canon printers. Uh, you'll just have to deal with that. And Epson's, well... Print quality's good on them. I had a laser printer in the 90s I really liked. Okay, that installed really quick. So, in theory, you're supposed to be able to run this command. The last time I tried it, it didn't work. We're not going to do that, uh, although. Let's see if it works. I'm just curious. And then we get to do it again. So we got to print another command, which I did not have on the notepad. This LP file.txt should now print. Yeah, no default destination. Yep, so that's, uh, that didn't work. That's okay. So now we get to go over here. We have four more commands. This actually installs the Bonjour protocol, which is already installed. So nice and easy. We'll start it, we'll enable it. And then we got one more firewall rule we have to put in. Uh, let's go to open the UDP 5353. And uh, there it is. So in theory, you should be done. If you go according to the Linux Babe article, it doesn't look like you're even a quarter of the way through. If you're just worried about AirPrint, you're done. I don't know what the Android alternative is to that, and well, maybe I should bring up my Android and find out. But uh, but now at this point, the printer should show up when you try to AirPrint. Let's play it together. So here we go. We're going to rough it again. We're going to see what happens. We're going to go to print, and our 612C should show up. But I have to go select it here, so... Oh, there it is. We have ourselves a HP DustJet 610C. Print. One second while we go over to the printer. And full disclosure, I don't know what size I actually made this, so bear with me here.
There it is. That, my friends, it printed a picture of itself in monochrome. Like I said, that's the printer driver that it came with. But that's uh, that's all she wrote. That is a an early to mid nineties, early two thousands printer printing through AirPrint. Can you believe it? I couldn't. But there it is. So with the magic of video editing, I. Might if I can find my Android phone, I might try to see if I can get it to print uh, through the means of the Android. But uh, we'll find out right now, either way. All right, so we have our Android that is uh, mostly done loading things. Now, full disclosure: this has not been turned on in over a eh, little under a year, but. Uh, about no November 2022 and uh, the battery life actually started mm, about 74 percent and in the last five minutes it went from 74 to 59 so basically you floor the car you see the gas gauge move at this point so let's uh, see if the desk jet 610 shows up it does So I like to wait till the thing actually loads the document completely. Again, it's an older, maybe it's just the count of being an older Android, but let's see what happens now. It shows up. We're just gonna print another printer, literally. Again, this will be monochrome just because that's the way this Linux installation wants to be. And I am going to cancel the job. But you can tell it is sending it over. I don't want to waste all the ink on this. Uh, it's kind of hard to come by these days, so. But yeah, so. You want to print your iPhone or Android on a 20 to 30 year old printer, you can in, in Ubuntu or Windows or just about anything. So that's it for me. And don't tell me you're going to try printing that document again. That's going to get really annoying. But, uh, but anywho, if you have any questions or comments or constructive criticism, uh, feel free to put them in the comments section as you wish. I, I know this is definitely roughing it, but uh, uh, we're a low-tech operation here, so sometimes you got to rough it. But uh, if you like the video, please like it. If you dislike it, please hit that dislike button twice. So, uh, once again, uh, thank you for watching, and have yourselves a great day.